I want to take a look at our number system. Now you've grown up with our number system and you'll say, but why am I doing this? Well, you have to reevaluate what you think you know in order to apply it to things you don't yet know. For instance, if I have the number 29 and the number 92, which one's bigger? It's easy to say that 92 is bigger. And then I say, why is 92 bigger? And a lot of kids say, well, just because. It just is. Because it has a 9. So does this one. This has a 9. Well, but that's not what I mean. And then they'll eventually say, because the 9 is in this place. Because it's 90, or it's 9 tens and only 2 ones. This is only 2 tens and this is 9 ones. So it is. It's because of the place value that specific digit is in that gives it its value. That's why it's called place value and not place um, something else. So what we're going to take a look at is what makes our numbers our numbers. First of all, you have to understand there are place values. There is the ones, the tens, the hundreds, the thousands, the ten thousands. And then I would say, what's the next one after ten thousands? You would say hundred thousands. After hundred thousands, millions. Ten millions, hundred millions, billions, etc., etc. How do you find always the next place value? How can you keep going? What a lot of people say is, oh, you just add a zero. Well, I need something more than that. I need something mathematical. What do I mathematically do to get from 1 to 10? 10 to 100, 100 to 1,000, etc. Hopefully you say multiply by 10. So what you have to understand is, in our place number system, in order to find new place values, we must multiply by 10. Now think about two place values, the ones and the tens. What am I allowed to put in this place value? I could put a zero, a one, a two, a three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine. What is the only rule when you go to make a number in our number system? Am I allowed to put an 11 here? The answer is no. So I do have a rule. I'm only allowed one digit per place value. But think of all your choices. I have the choices 0 through 9. So how many choices do you have for each place value? How many digits do you have to choose from? Please don't say 9, because 9 is not right. Did you count in 0? Zero? 0 through 9 gives you 10 choices. So now look at what we've been dealing with your entire life. In order to find place values, I multiply by 10. Think about the digits you're allowed to choose. You're allowed to choose 10 different digits. Find place values, multiply by 10. Choose digits you have 10 to choose from. Times 10, you have 10. Times 10, you have 10. Times 10, you have 10. What number is our entire number system based upon? It's 10. Our number system is a base 10 number system. Simple basic rules. Find place values, multiply by the 10. How many did excuse me, how many digits do you get to choose from? You get 10. This is base 10 number system. What if you wanted to make your own number system? We live in a base 10 world. What if you lived in a base 5 world? The same rules are going to apply. But what we base everything upon is different. So this is base 5. Let's talk about the place values you're allowed to use in base 5. Well, I have to still start with the ones. How would I ever show one penny or one dollar? But you have to remember, 
In base 10, I multiplied by 10 to find new place values. What will I multiply by now in base 5 to find new place values? Hopefully you say, multiply by 5. Okay, so place values. The 1's column, the 5's column. Careful what you say next. Everyone says the 10's. It's not the 10's. What is the next place value? 1 times 5 is 5. 5 times 5 is 25. 1, 25. 6, 25. And this can continue as much as you want. So if you need more place values, you would just multiply by 5. What digits am I... Let me back up. How many digits am I allowed to use? I'm allowed to choose from 5. What are they? 0 has to be my lowest. What's the highest digit I'm allowed to use? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 5 total, 0 through 4. Now, a quick pattern here. In base 10, the highest digit I was allowed is a 9. In base 5, the highest digit I'm allowed is a 4. Hopefully you pick up on a pattern, it's always one less. What about base 3? See, I can make bases in anything. Base 1, base 2, base 3, base 4, base 5, any base. We just happen to use base 10. What would my place values be? What would I multiply by? Hopefully you say by 3. First place value would be the 1's column. 3, 9, 27, 81, and on and on. Again, multiply by 3. Find the next place value. What's after 81 times 3? I think it's 243. How many digits do I get to choose from? Base 3? I'm allowed 3 total. What is the highest digit I'm allowed? Hmm. I have to have a 0. 0, 1, 2. 3 total. The highest I'm allowed to go to is 2. Well, these are the rules for new base numbers. With all that being said, here's what I want. If I write a base 5 number, I will need to put a little 5 at the bottom. This is called a subscript. Superscript is up top, subscript is on the bottom. Why do I need a 5 there? Because if I tell somebody to read me this number, what will they say? 2,432. Well, when you say words like thousand and hundred, what base are you referring to? What place values have the thousands and the hundreds? Oh yeah, that's right, that's base 10. So I can't just leave it the way it looks in our world. I must change it. So I put a little 5. This tells me what are the rules. Oh, it's base 5. So now how do I read it? 2,432 base 5. By the way, this is said base 5. No, you cannot say 2,432. 2,000, thousands and hundreds still are in base 10. How do I read this so that it's not base 10? This is how I read it. 2, 4, 3, 2, base 5. Oh, that's how much money you make a day? Okay. 2, 4, 3, 2, base 5. That's pretty cool. Here's the question, how much is this worth in base 10? You now know the rules. What we'll work on next is how do I convert from one type of number system to another?